that tiny bit more. I mean, you have to, right? Like, this is this is a player of a higher caliber that I feel is like going cheek wouldn't be the best option. But I wouldn't put it past Charlie to still try it out and see how he likes it. Sometimes you are the player that pushes your own meta in that sense. So we'll see how things go here in game one. And I'm sitting here right next to J-Max, typing on the screen, man. What a guy. I'm sorry, man. I just really wanted to... <laughs> I just really want to put him on blast for a second anyways. Fair enough. F-Tilt will be the start of the lead for Charlie and continuing this ledge pressure. Short hop now. He's barely finding his way off the ledge here. Oh, good parry. Misses the forward air. You do get plus frames on it, but it wasn't even enough another forward air. Tech opportunity here, but nothing yet from Riveladen. Approaching with that, and that... Ooh, wanted to go for the second down smash. Just out of the range, but the F? What was that? The side special in neutral is actually going to be the end of Baladin's first stock. I was going to say he was going for the F tilt, but... He managed to throw out another move before Valadin was anticipating. That's kind of one of the Charlie specials, right? He'll go for uh, Wolf Flash just because he's able to catch it the opportunity. You kind of have to respect Charlie at certain ranges because Charlie will, will not be afraid to actually pull that out on you. Forward air, not enough, but it actually does kind of corner carry Valadin all over the ledge here. And with a dash attack and the down smash already, but unfortunately, Valadin wasn't at a situation where he was forced to pick to go for a low recovery or get up roll. So that'll allow Valadin to actually sneak in from an aerial. Charlie still with about a 60% lead gets the fair dare or fair bear, excuse me. Dash attack to pop him up to 103, but Valadin exchanging that for stage control. Oh, nice! All the way across the stage with the dash attack. No tech from Valadin too, so Charlie was really content to just go ahead and take this to the ledge. Nice, one. greatly good stall with Vladimir. That's kind of something he's always used to. Is before he goes for the next aerial, he's not afraid to just stall himself for that one second after an aerial and then go for four dash. He's out of range. That's kind of what makes Wolf a glass guy in here. Mm -hmm. Set up by the max spacing on the fair as well. And once you catch Wolf out of a jump, you can really have your way with him off stage. Lucina, one of the best edge guarders in the game, and Vladimir putting that to good use. Not enough. It's kind of one of those things I feel like both Lucina and Martin need a buff is just. Occasionally, Dancing Blade will just not connect whatsoever. And you kind of have to be more towards the inner head of the sword with some of the parts of it. Back air here. Let's put Charlie right for that low recovery. This will allow Valadin to set up for things like down tilt and four tilt. That was so close to the up smash, too, after the forward air. Yeah, that fair nair absolutely set him up perfectly, but Valadin going to continue tech chasing with the down tilts. Dolphin slash out of shield, putting Charlie at 98. Excellent, perfect shield as well, leading to the F tilt from Charlie. Oh, and, and he got F smash. Him. It's kind of the thing about forward smash too is that it does have that little bit of a wind up, and because it winds up just like Mario's, it's able to get uh, neutral get ups. And that's a situation where you kind of have to like understand, okay, what frame will this come out? What time is my neutral get up? Mm -hmm. When do I lose invincibility? And then he'll be able to get me for it. Yeah, one of the slower <laughs> F smashes in the game, but it's very safe on shield and. At that point, you take that step back and can really bamboozle your opponent with where you're spaced. Yeah. All right, game two here. Important to note that with all of Valadin's comp comprehensive victories at hat in his entire career, has yet to get a set on Charlie. Charlie has taken the last six sets in ultimate. Nice. After the neutral, he immediately comes in looking to see how Valadin was going to react. Down throw. Pretty much sets up a situation where Charlie gets the ledge here and he reads the jump get up, forcing the low recovery. This will allow him to go for things like down smash. Something we didn't see last game. Getting Force a low recovery. That's, that's something that Charlie is really masterful of, kind of going back to him using Sheik and Smash 4. He loves to force his opponents to go for that low recovery. Valadin just holding shield. Charlie looking for the opening. This tech, but Charlie gonna get up actually, not going for the hasty roll. Down tilt actually gonna send him in the reverse direction. And reads the jump from ledge with the back air. Charlie commands that first dock. Forward air missile grab. Forward throw. This is gonna be allowing a lot to go for an. Ah, oh, nice. That was really nice. Didn't go for forward smash. 
Hit it pretty well spaced, but even though Lucina does have power within the sword, it's not enough to get rid, rid of Charlie. He didn't even have him with the ledge there. Up B. Yeah, but even after that Dancing Blade didn't kill, Valadin didn't panic, didn't go for any overcommitments, and found his kill move with an air moments after. Second place, Charlie manages to get out of the corner. Baron and Nair and actually off the platform with the up tilt. Oh, nice. Good use of empty hop here. He might have been telegraphing himself for a back air, but the Kyle level out, I know you know that. Miss Grab, Nair. Reach the jump get up. That's something Vladin is so used to, and at this point, Charlie's just going to call that up. Yep. Speak of the devil. It's pretty common for a player to actually just jump out of disadvantage in, in a lot of games in general. Yeah, you cannot do that against Charlie, though. That's going to be a second time fatal mistake for Vladin. And it's the way that he sets him up, too, because he sets Blaster enough to the point that Vladin doesn't want to go for that low recovery and get two frame by down smash that he tries to pick the jump one, and then Charlie will still call that out. Kind of damn if you do, damn if you don't situation there. Tech roll out, lands with an air, but Charlie unable to find the down smash afterwards. Vlad now has him offstage. Tech's the back air. It's Vladin's turn and finally outranges that up smash with the back air. Still in with a chance, but 75% down. Charlie continuing to play this with the B reverse blaster. Nice, immediately from falling upward to an up tilt. Very, it's very rare that we do see some of Lucina combos, specifically because getting Sour Spot with Lucina, it's really hard to get those combos. They're very percent specific versus Marth, where some of the Sour Spots will lead into combos. He stretches himself out there for the Nutra Air, and he makes sure that when he goes down, he's going down with the down air. That was really good from Charlie. That was completely unnecessary from Charlie as well. He was out of a jump with that Blaster Nair, but Charlie not one to just let his opponent fail to recover like that needs to go for the style. Mm. Most definitely. Mm. So we'll be heading back to PS2 for the third game. Oh, no back on the platform. Charlie was content very well to just go for second place. This tech gonna lead to that tech oh, chase. Oh, that was good too, and Vladin had set himself up for it, but unfortunately it was a little too early. Even after whiffing that F smash, enough time to get the Nair afterwards, Charlie continuing to play this bait and punish play style. Nice, almost gets him there, but not enough. Close to the two frame. Well, what Charlie did there was actually use the uh, Firewolf from above the ledge, making it impossible to two frame, but the Dolphin Slash out of shield gonna be the end of the Ladin and Charlie's first stocks. Continuing this combo off of the Shine too. Oh, that was close. I felt like Charlie kind of sent some stuff. I've seen him pull off this combo once. Once before, not at that position. Well, he'll finish it off with a Wolf Flash, and it'll spike you down. The positioning was not enough for me to actually tell if he was going to go for that specific combo, but I've seen him do it on the ground at least. Just running forward, and another Nair actually going to put Vladin went past the ledge, but Charlie only going to be able to get the rapid jab. I like it too because he went for pretty much an empty hop, either going to go for a Nair or probably just empty hop into a forward tilt, but that was really good for him to just go for jab, especially with Vladin already going for neutral getup. Doesn't want to overcommit himself to an option that would have allowed Vlad and just punish him for being at the ledge. I kind of see the up smash working only because he wanted to call Vlad out for a forward air. Or a nair, something that you pretty much happened here in the situation where they traded. Ah, uh, you gotta watch yourself, man. He's I'm telling you, he's just not afraid to pull it out. I he mean, knows the range in which it'll work. Very similar to how Charlie used to play in Smash 4. He's just very content in understanding what range certain projectiles and moves just don't work at all. Yeah, nowhere on stage is safe from that, and Charlie continuing. He was on stage, but now Vladin has got him off for a good 10 seconds or so. Oh, yep, that'll be tough for Charlie to make the comeback, though, and the Wolf Flash not going to be enough because he still sticks himself out there. Nice. After the up tilt, he immediately sees the situation with an up air. 
And that's actually really fortunate from Charlie because that down throw dash attack is a lot. It's variable at zero. It's true from about five to 30, but it depends what stage of the animation you're actually catching your opponent at and the character that you're facing. Close, close, but no cigar. Charlie makes the landing here safely. Forward tilt. I like how he angled it down there. See if he's going to get a shield poke or not. Some characters do actually leave their, their feet hip her box actually sticking out when they go for shield. So it's really important to angle it. Well, that words, but the rising fair. Actually, Charlie's out of a jump. Oh, no, and right into Aladdin's hands of that forward smash. A little bit of a pop. I want to say a pop off, but man, that man wound it back. He was happy to catch that finally. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's a that's a sigh of relief, and the yeah. set's not even over. He was going to get 3-0 by Charlie, and I haven't even seen a 3-0 from Charlie against Aladdin in a minute, mm -hmm. so... computer games where you have like the like the the joystick for like you know simulate flight simulator or whatever Two, one, that's what it reminds me anyways let's go on here to game four still still here at winter semis still one more chance for Lana to go ahead and at least put another point on the board maybe fight himself from a reverse 3-0 we'll see how it plays out up with a fair Charlie ambitious with a dash attack but actually connecting there Valadin had enough time to pop his shield and didn't Oh, nice. Really good. Up beyond a shield. It's a pretty good opportunity for Martha Luisi to go for. I believe it went from frame one to frame two now. Still, nonetheless, one of the fastest shields, out of shield options that Martha Lucina do have. I think it's like frame Chase? three out of shield or something. Yeah, it's, it's it, like. It's quick. It used, it used to be one uh, on the ground. No, I'm sorry, it was one in the air, five on the ground. Down air, nice. I like how he went for the kind of an empty hop at that opportunity because he was looking to see if Charlie was going to be anywhere near the platform, get up with an up air. But scope of the situation, doesn't find anything. Goes back to the stage, paying no attention to uh, the stellarness of the back throw. I like this too. They're pretty much playing, fighting out the neutral here. They're looking for the opportunity to see who's going to make the first mistake. And Charlie gets the grab with the forward tilt, forces the low recovery. Can he get the two frame or the get up option? I like how he's putting out these back airs. And he finishes off with the up smash. The reason why is because he wanted Valadin to feel safe to actually go back on the ground after two back airs and see if he was going to go for a roll get up or just go ahead and dash in. Yeah, Valadin just turned himself into a sitting duck with that up smash and Charlie more than happy to go for the back air afterward. Yeah. Charlie is really good at covering his moves. All right. He wants to fight for center stage here, but he's not willing to risk it all forward and put him off the stage. Might be looking, I was going to say, he might be looking for a down on the way back to the, uh, the stage. Yeah, good work from Valadin to conserve his jump there because without it, he probably would have been out of that second stock. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's punishable by death. I think Valadin <laughs> even saw that one coming before it happened. You could tell just as he was landing, Charlie not even moving. Yeah, he was spaced enough, but that forward smash won't even be spaced. It'll just be in Valadin's face. Yeah, he was placed enough where a wolf flash wasn't going to be enough to take it. An entire stock in the lead, and Valadin aiming to make this a little bit easier. Down throw dash attack once again, true at zero. Order, no tech chase, but I like the fact that he reads the roll got up here. Looking for something here on the neutral. Good use of dash dance, only, only to see how Charlie's going to react to the ledge. He does have him at disadvantage, uh, pretty much towards the corner. Connecting the bayonet hitbox of the blaster to... Bear. I was going to say, he set himself up for a back air. Just grab. Dolphin slash out of shield just to get off me. There. Ooh, that was close. And I wanted to say, that's why Charlie kind of already preemptively set himself for the down smash. He pretty much had the tech chase scouted out frame one. There. And once again. I like it every time Charlie looks to push in slowly after an aerial. Doesn't push in too hard. Doesn't want to lose neutral just yet. Four throw. Mm -hmm. That was good. He he went for the wolf fire only to go for the ledge. Actually managing to spot dodge the first hit of the dancing blade as well. An excellent reverse F tilt. And if I were a betting man, Charlie's playing pretty much playing this way like it was the last stock when he still has the second one in the bag. Four tilt, yeah, and that will be enough to get the get up. 145% in the red. Plus whatever damage this throw is going to rack on. Mm -hmm. 164, low recovery. I'm seeing Charlie not go for a lot of down smashes. I'm seeing for four tilts. But it's also because he hasn't conditioned for the line to go for a roll get up either. And I don't want to be the casual commentator to tell you, man, I love it when the game is even. 
but it is most definitely looking like one for Lana. All he has to do is not get hit. Yeah, in this particular situation, Wolf's F-Tilt will outrange everything in Lucina's kit, but not much else in Wolf's kit is going to even come close Ooh. to touching Lucina at perfect max space range. For Veladin here, it's... Oh no, and he committed with the Nair. I was going to say, for Veladin, it's, it's him to understand the neutral, but also understand when would be the right opportunity to see when Trolley is going to look for a space option and then try to always punish him for it, but unfortunately, kind of committed to the Nair. Yeah, failed, the, failed to pick his moment there. You could mm -hmm. really tell that... You know, a couple of seconds afterwards, that might have been the right option, but Charlie was in the wrong phase of his attack for that for that to just work. Mm. But it was also the way that Charlie was dash dancing, too. You have to look at it really, really well, because he was moving...